damage to Nimbus Strike Esports. Alright. So, they're just gonna start. Well then. I died, I died. Oh, jeez. What is that? Wait, yeah, what is that? You see that? <laughs> what is that? Wait. wait, wait what is, what that? is that? What? What is that? Did you just... Did you just hack the system? <laughs> wait. <laughs> What is that? Is oh, we are in. Letters. All right, we are in champ select. Okay. In tournament draft. Turn on the music. I'm sorry. Yeah. Turn on the the, uh, the great music. I'm gonna listen to it too. Okay, so there's an Anivia ban. Interesting. Anivia. You from the side of Nimbus yeah. Strike. Okay, they, they already countervanned Cosmic Apocalypse's entire champion pool. Never look back. Yeah. I mean, it is respectable, Ben, because Cosmic Apocalypse, I did check out his Manchester. He has been playing quite a bit of Echo, especially in these uh, uh, Star League games. <laughs> He's using one of Echo's quotes as his senior quote, right. I've heard. <laughs> okay. That's a Caitlyn fan. Oh, no late game destroyer, I guess. I mean, Caitlyn did get nerfed, but... No, they're also banning Vayne. Uh, uh, yeah. Don't really have anything to say. Well, I mean, here that yeah, they might just uh, prioritize an Arden sensor support first pick since uh, Jan is already banned and Lulu's on the table, so they might just want to pick up the Lulu right now on the side of Nimbus Strike Esports. Let's see what they prioritize. But yeah, Lulu does provide a lot of utility late game. I've seen my fair share of the Polling Morphs just swinging a team fight in one team's favor. Well, it looks like they're prioritizing the engage over the the which is all right because uh, Rakan can also build Arden Sensor, so well, that's a fair very pick. Stuff. I mean, Darius is uh, okay because he he's really he's strong in the one v one, and he can also he's also good in team fights. He just gets kited really easily, so we'll see how they. Uh, Timber Creek High School deals with that. But yeah, that's going to be a problem because Darius, like, if you can't 1v1 him, he's going to be a split pushing monster late game or even mid game. Yeah. Because you're going to have to send two people up there to right. stop his pushing. And they also took away um, the Zaya from uh, Nimbus Strike Esports. Who responded with a Jarvan, which can be flexed between the top and the jungle. We'll have to see. Jarvan is a really popular pick because of just that flash from Q and E combo. Yeah, very strong. I mean, on the side of Nimbus Strike Esports, they definitely have great engage. But also on the side of Timber Creek, I really I like the ADC pick because it uh, on Zaya because she's really good at disengaging with her alt. So it's a very smart pick on the side of. Um, Timber Creek High School. Yeah, if you notice about how Nimbus Strike Esports banned Anivia and Jace, two of the most poke heavy champs in the game. Right. So... Now, second phase of the banning. It's important to note that mid laners have not been picked on either side, so we'll have to see if any mid lane bans do come out, and Oriana does get banned out. Uh, very big team fighting alt. Very strong champion. There's a Thresh ban coming out. I mean, honestly, I, I would have preferred a Lulu ban here because then that forces them to pick an uh, unmeta Arden Sensor support. 
but now they they still have Lulu open, so Timber Creek High School could just pick Lulu at the start of the second draft and then save their mid laner as last pick for the counter. Well, you have to respect Thresh's utility as uh are you certain? Well, Thresh and Lulu are like two of the most utility heavy supports. Right. I got but, I, but I mean, Thresh is okay going against the Rakan and Tristana because Rakan can jump away and he can disengage, he can knock up and things. And Tristana, after level six, she'll have her ult to push him away and she can also jump. And it still leaves open the possibility of Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank. <laughs> That's going to be a very deadly hook late game. Yeah, we'll see if he has to make if he can make any picks. All right, really? so yeah, yeah. Talia pig offers good poke, which I'm not sure is the greatest. Considering it's Blitzcrank, if you want to poke Blitzcrank, you run the risk of being hooked. So, Talia does have good range though, so it's not that bad. And Shen, that I like. Shen is a very good pick, especially against the Blitzcrank and the Vi, because they they are single target. So if anyone gets hooked or or Vi ulted, then Shen can ult. Well, judging from the team composition with Vagar and Darius. Uh, Shen's ult, oh, not a Vagar, but even with Syndra, just an ult onto a hooked player. Zir. This is, um, interesting. But still, it doesn't seem like anyone that gets ulted by Shen is going to live if, if the Blitzcrank just hooks them. Alright. Because you have Vi with the uh, armor penetration, Zaya. Alright. So final comps that Jarvan did go to the jungle, so we'll have to see what he can offer. Um, yeah. As far as lanes go, I think Azir does counter Elias, so he should have priority in that lane. But we'll have to see if uh, TSM Mike Young capitalizes that and um, camps core, but I'm not sure. We'll be getting game into game in about three minutes due to the spectator delay. Is there anything you'd like to add about the team comps? Uh, it should be noted that Darius, like, with his Q, he'll be pushing the lanes in very hard against Shen, who only has a Q for damage early game. Yeah. I mean, Shen, if if he can, um, he might try rushing a Tiamat to have, to regain priority in that lane to be pushing the Darius. Especially as Shen, he'll want to be, t he'll want to be uh, using his ultimate for his team. So, getting an early Tiamat wouldn't be a bad idea for him. Yeah, it's going to have to be a decision for Nave to just stay top lane with his E, just waiting for Shen to ult and stop it. Right. Stop, uh, you know. I'll have to see. I mean, on both sides, uh, we do see very strong engage, especially on the Rakan, especially like Rakan on the side of Nimbus Strike Esports, and of course Blitzcrank and Vi on uh, the side of the um, Timber Creek High School. So there definitely isn't a lack of engage. And as far as disengage, um, I, I think both teams also have really good disengage. So I'm curious to see how this uh, one pans out. But I think I think that the, the win condition here for Timber Creek, Creek High School is to get that Darius ahead. Because if Darius gets ahead, he can easily snowball his matchup against Shen. And also, he'll be able to just split push the whole game. So I think that's really where they need to 
to focus their resources. Because if Darius falls behind, he he's going to get bullied by the Shen. And Shen will have presence around the map. So they really need to punish that Shen early and make sure Darius gets ahead. And Nimbus Strike Esports just needs to do the opposite. All right, so we'll seconds. yeah, getting into game thirty seconds. And we're going to get into game now. Time to turn off champ select music. All right. Can you check stream if it's actually on? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll check. I have Twitch open on my phone. Yeah. It's running. Alright. We're getting into game. I'm loading in. Alright. Oh, and since you're streaming, you might want to, like, take the time to order them on the, the bar, you know? Yeah. Just, just so it's, like, easier for the viewers. So, it looks like Blitzcrank took Ignite, which means uh, he will be looking to get an early kill in bot lane. But then again, um, egg, there, there, there isn't any... Um, there isn't any threat that demands an exhaust on the on um, the side of Nimbus Strike Esports. Like they don't have a Yas or a Katarina or a Zed that you need exhaust against. Well, exhaust is like is how exhaust works is when you cast it that instant all the damage that comes out of them is reduced. Yeah, but. There, there is no threat from you Nimbus could Strike. You use it to stop the burst damage from Darius' ult. No, I'm, I'm talking about Nimbus Strike Esports. They don't have a, a, a burst threat. So that's why Blitzcrank didn't take Exhaust. Oh, I see. And Darius did take Storm Raider Surge, so it looks like I think he will be trying to use it in team fights rather than take grass for the split push like Shen did or fervor for the split push. Storm Raiders is definitely much better in team fights. Okay, I'm in game. Are you in yet? Yes. And nobody has spawned for me. Uh, okay, we're good. All right. And I'm arranging my tab. All right. It appears that Blitz is AFK. What's going on? A ruby crystal. Oh no. Okay. Ancient coin. Oh, that's interesting. I guess well, he actually, just wants. Yeah. I actually like it. Named oh. Ancient. Oh. Looks like we have a pause coming out of um, the side of Nimbus Strike Esports. Blarg one two three four five. It's paused. I'm not sure what the problem is. 